Fucking Moses. And uh, I'm a. Yo, what up? It's Aaron motherfucking Moses. And uh, I just want to let you guys in on a little secret. So, I don't want to say this too extremely, but I haven't said anything. And if you follow me on Facebook, you would have seen this post this 10 17 Brick Squad in the morning. And, um,. I posted, I haven't said anything negative in about three days, and honestly, I'm physically different now. I put the words spoken in all capital letters, and that's not exactly true. I'm not going to lie, that was pretty extreme. I'm sure I've said something about somebody, but I haven't consciously made anything Many made any negative statements about myself. There's been no negative self-talk. There hasn't been any self-doubt spoken out of my mouth. There hasn't been any this fucking sucks. I fucking hate this fucking place. Um, there hasn't been anything similar to that. I might have I'm dark. I'm dark. But I haven't said anything bad about myself. <laughs> I haven't said anything bad about anybody that I love for real. That's untrue. I'm just kidding. But it feels different. It physically feels different. And I'm going to read to you. One of my friends asked me, elaborate, well, she replied, elaborate, please. How did you feel before versus now? And I'm going to read you my response. Because honestly, when I think about, when I acknowledge the lifestyle, the lifestyle, how I felt before versus how I feel now, I didn't really acknowledge it because it was, I'm not going to say this changed my whole life. I'm not going to say that. But I feel I see a difference and it's weird. Firstly, I'm going to give you the reason why I'm doing this. Well, the reason why I'm doing this is because uh, everybody knows I'm with the spiritual shits. So I've been watching a lot of astrology lately. There's a lot of um, changes. There's a lot of I mean, I don't really want to tell if you don't know what I'm talking about. It's not going to really matter or make sense, but. The planets are shifting in a in a certain way where your word is more important than anything right now. What you speak is really important. I have, I mean, mainly more than speaking negativity. I haven't, like, sat there and felt it and been negative and swam in it and meditated on it and just allowed it and invited it and accepted it. And planted that seed and let it grow. That's not what's been going on. Okay. Today, something weird happened. And I acknowledged it. And I breathed it out. Breathed. It was breathed out of me. I didn't keep it in. I didn't scream. I didn't yell it. I didn't fucking throw anything. You know, that's not, that's, I don't do that anyway. I'm not a fucking child, but this is my response. It was a conscious choice, so I guess my subconscious mind took over for dealing with the urges to speak negative things. So how I react to negativity now is different. I feel more in control and positive. I feel more safe and mentally healthy. Before, I felt dangerous and like I could explode at any minute, which I didn't really know was how I felt. 
I felt like I was unconsciously counting every second, recording everything that could make me go off and on the swivel. I've been acknowledging negative things but neutralizing them and breathe it out and mentally say irrational things to myself to make myself feel more positive. Then think to myself that everything's gonna be okay. That's fucking, that's amazing. That's amazing. <laughs> One thing, if you are into astrology and the planetary movements and the activities that are going on actively above us, I definitely suggest that you watch Magic Mike on uh, Astrolada. Um, it's just A-S-T-R-O-L-A-D-A. On YouTube, Magic Mike, Candice, April, and I don't know like, all of them, but what has been going on is in the video that he was talking about, the tr the the stuff that's going on currently, like the last video, I think it was about either Venus or Mercury. The last video, he has a playlist, I'm sure, on her page. But basically he was saying it doesn't really matter what you say to other people or to yourself because one way or another these things are going to manifest. Okay, this is why I fuck I emphasize the word so much. Speaking. Or even writing it. You know. Because these things are just an extension of, of your thoughts. Everything that's here started with a thought. So if you say some negative shit, you're giving birth to negativity. For what? Your words? And think of your mind, your brain as Harry Potter, and your words as the magic wand. That's exactly, I have a song about this coming out. And that's exactly what the reality is. That's exactly what the reality is. Your brain is Harry Potter and your words, whether it comes out of your mouth, whether it comes out of your hands, are your wands, bro. And that's what's gonna come back to you, okay? When he was talking about a fucking, like a, a flying spaghetti monster or like a hamburger, eagle, hawk, whatever he was talking about, he was saying whatever energy that you have for that, even if it's imaginary, is going to come to you in some form. He was saying that he thinks his soulmate is sexy as Scarlett Johansson. If you fuck, if you visualize yourself having sex with Scarlett Johansson or whoever does stuff to you emotionally and sexually, that person is going to come to you. It's not going to be Scarlett Johansson. It could be Scarlett Johansson big ups to you but it's gonna be a person it's gonna be a person that makes you feel the same way or better that you feel when you're jacking off to Scarlett Johansson watching the Avengers pausing it replaying it pausing it pausing it pausing it pausing it taking screenshots she was bad and mm, I don't do that I'm just familiar with Having a boner to Scarlett Johansson, all right? I'm a man. We do that. Not me, personally. I'm not going to lie. I used to do that, you know? But um, I have the internet now, so I don't have to do that anymore. And I have a woman I can have sex with whenever. Anyway, the, <clears throat> this video is not about sex. I, I don't know what's going on up here, but I like it. <laughs> but basically what's been going on is... Honestly, what's been going on is I programmed myself. It's not like I sat there in this deep ass meditative state. No, I said, look, okay, these everybody's been saying this. I watched four episodes of somebody talking about astrology and them saying that the universe is really sensitive to your word right now. So just try to stay positive because your word and the energies that you feel right now are really really important especially until like april 14th so it's best to stay positive speak positive eat positive and and just be happy and just try to feel good and just know that if something 
Weird happens. I haven't even been saying the other word. The opposite of good. If something weird or, or interesting happens to you, just know you're still alive and shit. Good things are supposed to come from that. If everything was positive all the time, then nothing would be positive. Honestly, these weird, interesting... If everything went smoothly all the time, then nothing would be interesting. Nothing would be... Mm, nothing would be interesting, basically. So, just keep that in mind. Everything interesting that's happened to me has eventually been fucking funny. Everything. Everything... 98.2% of everything that's happened to me that has not gone completely smoothly or how I want it has been a joke at some point. Drunk, high, or sober. Okay? But these things, feeling ne feeling negatively made me feel dangerous. It made me feel like I could explode at any minute, which is not really what I acknowledged because I didn't feel any other way. I wasn't used to feeling any other way so much that I didn't even know that possibly speaking and feeling negativity all the fucking time gave me anxiety. I didn't know that. You know, that's weird. That's weird. It's like when I tried to speak to my therapist a long time ago. And I was like, I think I'm addicted to being depressed. And she was like, well, you can't really be addicted to being depressed. You can be used to it and the other things will happen. And I'm like, well, when I'm happy, I feel weird. I feel funny. I feel like I want to just be like sometimes I'm just happy and it's like it lasts for three days. And I'm like, I just sit there and just make myself fucking sad on purpose. That's that's not good. Okay. <laughs> That's fucking, that's not good. So don't get caught in that trap. But now, I mean, I guess because, you know, my, 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 my habits, my other habits, you know what I mean? Definitely gave that a reason to be. Now, when I say I feel, what is this? I, I, I was unconsciously counting every second and recording everything that could make me go off and on the swivel. When I was... And I'm, it, was, it was literally 72 hours ago, all right? It, it hasn't been, like, months. I'll try this. It's been since, like, Thursday or some shit. We'll say Thursday, Friday. We'll say a good... What's today? Wednesday? We'll say Sunday. Saturday. Whatever. Regardless of the time, it hasn't been a full week. Okay? So... My doctor... He said that my amygdala is overstimulated. I have an overactive amygdala in my brain. Amygdala. And that is the part of the brain that scans the surroundings and the environment for danger. Your brain is only really made to survive. So everything that you do is for you to have a more smooth life and to keep you from dying. If you think about it, that's what your body is for. Your body is an extension of the brain. So the amygdala, the amygdala that I have, I overuse it. And negativity is really, mm, that's where survival comes from. Negativity, scarcity is negative. Not having enough is, is negative. Me feeling like more safety is at my, let me, let me start that over. Me feeling more safe is a result of me not speaking and affirming and manifest, not even manifesting, speaking and affirming and waving the magic wand of fucking darkness. Me speaking that, me speaking negativity, gave my amygdala more reason to be overactive. It gave it more reason to be stimulated because it's saying, okay, if this guy is being so negative, if, if you're speaking this much negativity 
if everything's out here is fucking dark and black and nasty, then that means I have a real reason to act. Which means I'm going to send more chemicals to your body and the rest of your brain that says, look, we're dying, we're dying, we're dying, we're dying, we're dying. Okay? When I'm speaking positivity and the positivity is literally washing my environment, my son is laughing more. I'm not fucking blah, 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 blah. Jimmy, 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 Jimmy. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? I don't yell at my son. But when I'm more positive and I'm speaking and I'm literally cleansing each room with this positivity, I'm throwing it out there. It's coming back. I'm eating what I'm fucking putting out. My my brain is more calm. It doesn't have to. It is, it's, it's like... It's like Okay, something's changing. Something is more positive. Because he's speaking more positivity. And now I can relax. And now the other parts of the brain. It's just like when I went vegetarian. I was going to put all of that in, in my status. But I couldn't put the little green color. And I kind of like that. It's kind of cool. But it's literally like when I stopped eating. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't stop eating. But I fasted. When I fasted in jail. Or when I um went vegetarian, I don't know how I have all this shit on my mouth. But when I went vegetarian, my I could feel different parts of my I could literally feel different parts of my brain. And when I fasted, I fasted for two days when I went to jail, and just drank water for spiritual purposes. I meditated. I meditate a lot. That's why I feel these fucking things. If I didn't meditate, I wouldn't know what the fuck. What's going on with me? I would just feel like, I don't know, I feel good. I, I feel a little funny, I guess. Maybe I need to smoke a cigarette. Maybe I need to drink some honey. I don't know what's different, but something's different. You know? But, because I do meditate and I do talk to my body and I do send those signals through myself to scan my fucking mind, body, and soul, I know what's going on. I can feel it. When I stop eating... When I fasted the first day, I meditated a lot. Meditated a lot. So I wasn't like thinking about food. The jail food doesn't like smell extra f- fucking good. It's not, it's fucking room temperature, if that. So it's not like I was, you know, they, they don't have any, pla- they only have plastic. So it's not like I heard a whole bunch of metal on glass plates. So I wasn't stimulated in that same way by other people eating. By that second day, my brain felt clear. It felt like it was nothing bad in it. It felt like it was just running on God's energy, which it wasn't. I wasn't like about to die. But as soon as I took that first bite of food, whether it had been, even if it was spinach, I fucking, I fasted before outside of jail, but I was, kept smoking cigarettes, so I wasn't the same. When I ate that first piece of food, I just felt like, and I just felt the food circulating through my brain and just, you know, like a, like it just filled my shit up. And I was like, I just turned off my connection to God. Oh my damn. But it was a positive experience while it lasted. That's what this is doing to me. Okay, so my tip to you, especially if you're with the spiritual shits, watch True Brilliance. She's a black lady, like in her 30s or some shit. Watch Astro Lotta. And then um, Magic Mike is in there. And then Candace is in there in April. And I think that's all the. That's still four people that I watch. If you want to know what's going on in, in, up in the sky and as far as why you need to be able to do this and why you need to do this, even if you don't believe in all that hocus pocus stuff, you still need to try this shit. I can't convince you that you need to be vegetarian or vegan if you just have to eat meat. Whatever, that's your life choice. I always recommend to all the homies, just try it for three days. Just try it for two days. If you try it for less than three days, you're just going to be thinking about meat and how fucking hungry you are and 
be sad because you are not adjusted to being able to be full or content off of just spinach, rice, potatoes, fucking raisins, and whatever, peanut butter, jelly sandwiches. But anyway, that's my experience with staying positive, being happy, not being a fucking douche, not being a chode, not saying, oh my god, bro, fucking bloody song. And when I, when I have actually thought shit like that, I made a joke. I made a joke, or I said something alternative. Like, I would rather live in Atlanta right now instead of how I consciously feel about where I live. I would, you know, it'd be really good if we had blah, 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 instead of acknowledging that negativity is around me. And it's not. It's really not. Because I've been in worse places. I've been in much worse places, and I appreciate where I live. I really do. Even if you have to lie to yourself. Even if you have to lie to yourself. Fake it till you make it. Lying's okay. All right? Stop telling. I mean, don't lie to the police. Don't lie to your boss. Like I have to do tomorrow. <laughs> don't. Or laugh. There you go. Boom. But. I forgot who said it. It's, it's, very, it's a very popular concept. But. Yeah, spirituality. To be really. I mean. If, if you're not with the spiritual shit. It's okay. There's still. Tune into what I'm about to say. They say, I, I don't really exactly know how it goes. Let me see if I can Google it real quick. I'm going to Google it. I'm going to type in one phrase. Okay. I couldn't find it. But that's okay. Basic, <clears throat> basically, the basic, the concept is for you to be a real, for you to live a complete life, and I made a fucking video about this, and I might have to redo it, you have to be able to tap into that inner child. You're not going to get a full spiritual, um, what's the word, experience if you are not willing to tap into that inner child, if you can't lie to yourself if you can't use your imagination if you can't dream about spaghetti monsters flying through the sky and fucking if you can't like when I was a little kid I was like nine right probably like eight whenever rocket power came out I was bored in the car and I would just imagine fucking auto rocket and the whole team rocket doing little skateboard tricks and all that shit on the side of the expressway and it would just be an awesome time because we didn't have electronics like that back then yeah we had cd players but a lot of children didn't have cd players because they were still like 20 40 dollar cd players they read mp3 oh if they read mp3s and they had the bass boom and they had the fucking the anti-shock thing so if you tap it your cd won't skip that's how you knew you had the cheap ass cds player for christmas if you tap that bitch at the top and the cd skipped <laughs> oh that was some good times but if you can't be childish if you can't be adult enough to lie to yourself and to use your imagination like a child you're gonna have blockages you're gonna have blockages in your business life and your romantic relationships how you relate to your children of course how you relate to Whoever you think's up there or down there or that way or that way. How you interpret music, how you, how much, f you're limiting yourself in every way. If you can't tap into your inner child and be a child. So this exercise, this challenge is about you, of course, only speaking positivity. If you can't do that. I'm, I'm really sorry for you because something needs to be changed in your life that is deep rooted in some shit you couldn't control and we all have that so no excuses but 
if you can't do that, at least don't speak positivity, uh, negativity into your reality right now. Don't speak it about yourself. Don't speak it about your surroundings, where you are, people you love. At least just start there. Because, yes, first, I was talking shit about other people that made me mad. And then I was like, you know what? No. Fuck that. And then I was only speaking positive things about myself and my environment. Mm, mm, mm. This is a long ass goddamn video. And I love it. Lying to yourself. Spaghetti monsters. Lying to yourself. Spaghetti monsters. Spaghetti monsters. If you want me to redo that video about why it's so important to tap into your inner child and be childish, because I'm not about to put that in this. Just just trust me. Just look for that video. Just trust me. See, just trust me. <laughs> look for that video. I'm not on drugs. I'm not drunk. It's, it used to be 1017 Brick Squad. Now it's 1042. The first day of March, the best month of the year. Why? Because Aaron Moses' birthday is in 29 days. God damn. I'm going to be 21 for the fifth time. <laughs> but yeah, watch that video about... Mm, I'll look for the link right after this. But watch that video about childishness and why it's, why it's important to tap into your inner child and things. But, um, that's it. That's it. Lie to yourself. Protect yourself. Lie to yourself. All right. I'm going to give you one example. And then we're going to be through. All right. So, my girlfriend Liz, she had an interview yesterday. She got the job. She got the job. She has to go up there on Thursday, however, to hand in her documents, picture ID, social number, or birth certificate. And um, Aaron Moses manifested $100 into our life, and she was helping some a Mexican family uh, move on the way home. But guess what? She lost her wallet. And guess what? Her social card and her ID were in that wallet. And guess what? I had to be positive. That's what. That's why I'm making this video. That's why. Because I almost relapsed. Not on alcohol. But saying and thinking things negative and speaking them. Almost. It didn't happen. Because I'm not a nigga like that. But... What I said was, said to myself, you know what? I wish I felt better. I wish I did. And you know what happened? My wish came true. I said to myself, you know what? Her wallet's not lost. It's around here somewhere. It's around here. Maybe it's outside. Maybe, maybe this. You know what? Her wallet is somewhere where we can find it. It made me feel better at the time. That's not true. Her wallet is somewhere and a result of me staying positive is now she has the opportunity and I have to look for her birth certificate. She has the opportunity to get a new driver's license and get the job. And Aaron Moses can do videos and music and be a stay-at-home father and not work where I work. I almost cried. I'm tearing up right now because it's been a long journey, guys. It's been a very long journey. And I'm so grateful that this is happening. It's been a long journey. When I met Elizabeth, I was not in a good place. Now, everything is going to happen that needs to happen. 
so now that you've seen me almost have a fucking positivity implosion seizure breakdown you know what needs to happen okay lie to yourself like a little child because you're just a child but with weird stuff in you now hormones wrinkles vaginas well that didn't make sense but everything doesn't have to make sense that's the point of this segment of this video and now that it's getting really weird we're gonna cut it off at the 30 minute point it's Aaron Moses stay positive we the bang I'm the bang you the bang we the bang together now I'm gonna say one last thing two last things and then I'm done alright So, you know what? I'm gonna keep that a secret. I was gonna, I got something for you. You just wait, I got something for you. I was gonna tell you something VI important. But, <laughs> I'm not gonna do that, I swear. I haven't smoked weed in like close to two weeks. I haven't drank today. Probably won't, because I have a lot of work to do. But socialize with me, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, four things, email, website, and that's it, man. That's Aaron motherfucking Moses. Stay happy, stay positive, and this, you might, you might get all of this. Look at that. You might just become sexy. You might just wake up with braids in your hair. I might just send one of my agents to braid your hair in your sleep. You don't know. You never know. All right? Peace. <laughs>